You're never going to believe this. They have solar powered picnic tables and tell us what they do. Those solar powered picnic tables do everything and you can even charge your phone on that thing. Can you believe that? So there's a, there's a school in Washington, D.C., Catholic University. Plug your phone in, eat a sandwich, you're good to go. Are, are we, is it getting so crazy we're so dependent upon our cell phones? Isn't this? Well, I don't mind, Steve, because anytime you mention picnics, I'm there. I love yeah. to eat, so that's fine by me. <laughs> Things are not all so fine in traffic. There's a building fire at a paper factory in Bridgeview at Harlem Avenue at 78th Street up to 76th Street, so please avoid that if you can. Also, we have an accident, a uh, rollover accident with injuries. Two people have been taken to hospitals at the Eisenhower Expressway in the Maywood area at First Avenue. There's Gaper's delay there as well, so try to avoid that. Take another entrance inbound on the Eisenhower. And finally, on in Chicago on the west side, there is a water main break at California Avenue and Taylor Street up to Roosevelt Road. So avoid that area at all costs. As usual, we'll have the latest updates in our traffic right here on CBS2 Chicago. For now, back to you guys. Well, in the winter, we deal with snow. Makes the roadways slick. But you know what happens in the spring? Rain does the same thing. Know, I'm thinking right? anything that falls out of the sky, Roger's a problem. So it might be a little bit busy for there for you this morning, huh? Yeah, it's also making a little bit busy on the roadways. We have a building fire at a paper plant in Bridgeview at Harlem Avenue. Areas blocked from 78th Street to 76th Street. Two people have been taken to area hospitals. We'll update their status as we learn more about it. We have a rollover accident with injuries. In Maywood, Eisenhower Expressway at First Avenue, uh, there is Gaper's delay as usual. So try to avoid that. Take another inbound entrance on the Eisenhower Expressway. And finally, in Chicago on the west side, there's a water main break at California Avenue at Taylor Street. It runs all the way to Roosevelt Road. So please avoid that at all costs. As usual, we have the latest traffic updates for you right here on CBS2 Chicago. Megan, Steve, Susan, back to you. <laughs> so tell us about you. What do you do? Well, I'm a Columbia College grad. Right here in Chicago, um, and I'm married with three children. Okay. And I've worked in radio for 11 years, and um, now I'm trying to work in television. Is being a broadcast journalism major? I mean, this is what I love my whole life. Mm. Born and raised in Chicago, uh, my mom loves un embarrassingly to tell the story that um, at four years old, one time she heard the TV sound turned off because I love baseball, and at four um, she found me with a popsicle stick. And I was doing the play-by-play -play, <laughs> uh, with the sound turned down. Whoa. So I, I've known that all this time that I've wanted to work still do it? somewhere in media. Uh, yeah, some of my kids, <laughs> my kids tell me I yell more at the TV oh. than I actually do. Cubs fan? The play-by-play. -play. I'm a Sox fan. Sox fan. Born and bred. So, uh, yes. Southside guy then originally? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. And moved away for a while, but I'm back here in Chicago. And I, I love this city. Yeah, and uh, lived in Hyde Park for a long time. Lived in Homewood. Now live up in Niles. So um, have a lot of friends out in the western suburbs. So that's one thing when you learn about traveling the roadways, yeah. Yeah. you learn them firsthand. You learn about yeah. road construction sure. all the time. And oh, that's I it. thought that was open. That's not open. And you know, and uh, we have um, a cabin in southwestern Michigan. So 